PTT Research is the research and development organization of Royal PTT Nederland, or KPN. It ensures that the largest national supplier of information and package transport services can use the latest developments in information and communication technologies and the techniques associated with these. The largest part of research undertaken by PTT Research is directed at applications. Here, the emphasis lies on direct support by PTT Research for the operating companies PTT Telecom and PTT Post. Another part of the research is directed at strategically important developments in telecommunications and postal processes. By means of the intelligent network concept, new telecommunication services can be introduced into the public network quickly and flexibly. These so-called IN services are of critical importance to PTT Telecom. Customers are making increasingly personalized demands, while market requirements are continually changing. PTT Research is therefore investing considerable attention on the development of IN services. It is also playing an important role in the area of European standardization of intelligent networks. One of the first IN applications will be Universal Personal Telecommunications. Whoever subscribes to this service obtains a personalized number. UPT gives the user the opportunity of telephoning on his own account from everywhere. At the same time, by using a simple recording system, the user is accessible everywhere under the one and same number, by telephone, fax or car phone. We received a fax for you, it's in your room, and this is the key for your room. Well, he's argued that Mao Zedong advanced with his wife, but that wasn't why he spent ten years in a Chinese jail. The story when World News from Washington continues. With this UPT number, each telecommunications connection can be converted into a personal connection that is also secured against misuse or fraud by others. As support for rapid and client-oriented development of new telecommunication services, PTT Research is developing interactive computer animations. Nou, laten we dat dan uh, laten zien hoe u dat moet doen. U uh, pakt de telefoon, u draait het gratis nummer 06. With these, PTT Telecom is able to demonstrate the various capabilities of these new services and optimally adapt them to the wishes of clients. Another example of computer applications is the Performance Simulation Tool, or PST. By means of this simulator, various situations can be mimicked that are of influence on the performance of a new IN service. How often will such a service be used? And what influence will this have on the usage of the network and the waiting times? By testing these with PST, PTT Telecom is able more rapidly to refine the capabilities of the new services. PTT Research undertakes both technical and social science research. The technical research is split into network technologies and teleinformatics. The sociological research is undertaken by the Institute for Applied Social Science Research. To undertake this research work successfully, PTT Research has competent scientific staff. The work is undertaken in small product and service teams in which the various disciplines involved are brought together.
For PTT Post, PTT Research developed the postcode reader. This is an automatic reader system that can quickly and accurately read handwritten postcodes. Automatic reading is possible by making use of special pre-printed postcode frames on the envelopes. By integrating the postcode reader in the existing post processing equipment at PTT Post, the processing of mail will go faster and more efficiently. PTT Research is meanwhile working on a future version of the postcode reader. This will be able to read handwritten postcodes and addresses without structured postcode frames. The use of car and portable telephones is now a way of life everywhere. To provide users even better service, PTT Research developed MobiView. This is a program that provides a clear overview of the coverage of the mobile network in the Netherlands. MobiView can rapidly and accurately give answers from customers about, for instance, the performance of mobile telecommunications in his or her area. En langs deze route is uh, zaktelefoon bijna overal goed te gebruiken. Ja. MobiView is also able to provide the status of maintenance of the mobile telephone network for the customer support service organization. In addition to mobile telecommunications, mobile electronic message transfer is rapidly increasing. By means of the Inmarsat C satellite system, users across the world can send and receive electronic messages wherever they may be, even at places where no telecommunications facilities exist. In order to increase the communication capabilities of mobile users, PTT Research linked the Inmarsat C ground station in Burum to the 400 net. This network is part of the internationally standardized email network. Thanks to this so-called gateway, the facilities of the 400 net are now also accessible to mobile users. Whenever the mobile user is not immediately accessible, the message is temporarily stored in an electronic mailbox. Hello, this is Burem NCC in the Netherlands. PTT Research did not only create Gateway, but undertook research for the ground station itself. A number of recommendations were made to improve user convenience of the various systems in the ground station. With this general management system, the organization can now respond more flexibly and efficiently to future changes. The international character of the work domain of KPN demands international cooperation. For this reason, PTT Research takes active part in coordinated European research programs such as RACE and ESPRIT. In addition, PTT Research represents KPN in various international organizations on standardization and normalization. Compression makes it possible to offer high transmission services in the current ISDN network. Video telephony will become ever more important in the future. PTT Research is thus working hard on the future development of video telephony. Multimedia applications and mobile video phones are important factors here. PTT Research is also providing operational support to PTT Telecom in the implementation of the video phone. In the context of the European Video Telephony Project, PTT Research is undertaking investigations into the performance and user convenience of current video phones. Research is also being undertaken into what capabilities users will expect or require in the future. Video telephony also offers opportunities for desktop video conferencing. PTT Research is also investigating the integration of the video phone and the personal computer so that during conversations, databases, images and graphs can be exchanged between parties. PTT Research is also doing work on the possibility of linking video phones so that a number of users can effectively communicate together from their own individual workstations. 
Broadband ISDN is making it possible to transport more information ever faster. This is creating constantly higher value telecommunication services. PTT Research is intensively involved with developments in the area of broadband technology. As part of a race project, the Bunny Demonstrator has been developed by a consortium of 20 European companies. BUNNY stands for Broadband User Network Interface. The objective of the project is to develop a future broadband standard for the connection and integration of various network components. In the public network of the future, the BUNNY will be the interface between the consumer's equipment at home or at the office and the equipment of the network operator. The follow-on project, Tribune, is being managed by PTT Research itself. An ATM network is being developed that will be used in the future for testing broadband applications. ATM, or Asynchronous Transfer Mode, is seen worldwide as an extraordinarily promising technology for broadband telecommunications infrastructures. With ATM, all types of information will be transferable, such as conversation, video and data. This will be possible because all information will be transferred in the same way, namely in packets or cells with a fixed length. ATM can be located both with the customer and in the heart of the network. This technology will make it possible to transport the various information flows much more efficiently than today. The network will therefore gain in capacity and flexibility. PTT Research is participating with PTT Telecom in a European ATM field test. Jullie hebben nu ongeveer 10 minuten de tijd gehad om zelf te zoeken in het Hypertext programma. Hypertext applications lend themselves well for training and education purposes. For this reason, PTT Research is actively investigating and developing hypertext programs for training within KPN. In a hypertext program, information is presented to the user in a non-linear manner. Working with hypertext means discovering information in many different ways. Vast amounts of information are related in a network of instructions. By means of this associative technique of offering information, the user is set to thinking. It is also possible to integrate moving pictures and sound within the hypertext system. This is called hypermedia. Scientific achievements are the basis of all future developments. Scientists today are giving form to the reality of tomorrow. PTT Research is ensuring that the best possible technological know-how is always on hand to support the market position of Royal PTT Nederland. <laughs>